Today's subject is rackets. Uh, one of the subscribers sent me a note. He said, hey, Tom, what, what kind of racket should I use? So let me just go through it and explain to you what I use and why I use it. Okay, when I started tennis, I started kind of late, but the first racket I ever had was right here. This is a Max Ply, a Dunlop Max Ply Fort. Look at the, the craftsmanship. I mean, this thing is a beautiful frame. The wood, um, it's made in England. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to string it up. You can see the, the plastic is still on, is still on the grip. Yeah, made in England. But awesome frame. I used to love playing with these. And <clears throat> this racket here, unstrung, weighs 13.5 ounces. Unstrung. Okay, this is a three grip size, four and three eighths. It feels a little small for a three eighths because currently I'm using a quarter with my Wilson uh, Pro Staff RF97. Use a quarter grip. I like smaller grips because it enables me to snap a little easier on the serve overheads. Um, it seems I can change grips quicker when I need to. So, um, but when you look at the frames, you can see both of them are thin beamed. Okay. Now the, I think the beam on this, uh, Wilson, I'm not quite sure what it is. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have the beam, but it's probably around 20 somewhere there. So you look at this Dunlop, it's even thinner. I like thin beamed rackets. Why? Because when you're hitting with spin, you're slicing the ball or you're hitting with a lot of top spin, the frame does not catch the ball. If the frame is too wide, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna catch the ball. So I like thin frames and I like heavier rackets. Now this racket, strung weight, is 12.8 ounces. And I used to play with this, strung weight was probably close to 14 ounces. But even in the prime of my playing days, I was using, let's say, a Wilson Pro Staff 6.1. It, I weighted the racket. I would put lead weight in the head because the racket would weigh about 12.6 off the shelf. I would beef it up a little bit. I, you know, I had it over 13 ounces, around 13.2 to 13.5. I like heavy frames. Why do I like heavy frames? Oh, the other thing, let me mention this first. I like heavy frames, but I like them head light. That way, when the weight is more in the handle, which the, I'm not sure about this Dunlop with the, I think it's, it's definitely headlight. Um, this one for sure is headlight. I think it's seven points, nine points, something like that, headlight. So I can maneuver the racket, but I still have some heft. I've got some plow through when I hit the ball because I've got some weight in my hand. You know, think about it. When Babe Ruth got up to bat, okay, <laughs> the Babe, all right, was he using a lightweight bat or did he have some weight to it? He had weight to it because he wanted to hit the ball hard and long, okay? Now, on the tennis court, you want to hit a heavy ball. You want to hit a deep ball. And the other advantage of having a racket that has some weight when you get to the contact point, the racket is absorbing the shock and plowing through the shot. Whereas if the racket is too light, the, the shock is going to your arm and the racket tends to stop. It slows down because 
even though that ball only weighs 57 grams, it's coming at a, you know, 50, 60, 70 or more miles per hour, you know. Now, if you're an extremely strong guy, okay, you could probably, you know, deal with it fine. Because I know some really good players who use light rackets, but personally for me, I, I don't like them at all because the ball's landing short, uh, I don't hit as heavy a ball, I don't get as much spin, it's easier on my arm, so there are a lot, a lot of advantages to a heavier racket. So, and I recommend, you know, these type of rackets to players that are beginners, especially, you know, if they're in good shape, say you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, you're in good shape, get a racket that has plow through. Don't buy some light racket. Um, Wilson right now is sponsoring me, so I really appreciate that, and they make a really nice product. And this racket, like I say, when you string this off the shelf, it's going to weigh about 12.6, 12.8 ounces, and it's got some nice plow through. So that's my take on rackets. Um, post any questions or comments below. Did I leave anything out? So you want a thin beam, headlight, and it's got to have some heft for plow through. That's my idea of a good racket. And I recommend it, like I said, to beginners. And even I've recommended a heavier racket for older people in their 70s, 80s that are having arm problems. And, you know, a lot of times when I first say, when I first say a heavier racket, they go, what? A heavier racket? That's going to hurt my arm more. No, it actually protects your arm more. All right. And when you talk about heavy, all right, you're talking ounces here. Now, the difference between a nine ounce racket and a 12.8 racket, you're going to get a lot more Abs uh, racket absorbing the shock, a lot more plow through with the heavier racket. Nine ounce racket, you know, your arm is, is absorbing that shock and it's not plowing through the ball. But the point is too that nine ounces to 12.8, okay, so that's 3.8 ounces we're talking here. Okay, ounces. Um, so, you know, it's not that much heavier, you know. Um, I've heard stories, a friend of mine uh, was a stringer at the Australian Open. Now, don't quote me on this. This is, this is what he told me, okay. He said, Tom, you're not going to believe it. How much do you think the Bryan Brothers rackets weigh? And I said, well, they're on the tour. They're hitting a heavy ball. I said 14, 14 and a half. He said 16 ounces. Now, I, don't quote me, because I don't know. The Bryan brothers may say, hey, man, we don't use 16, but that's what he told me. 16 ounces, but they were like 15 points or something like that, headlight. They're doubles players, right? So they need quick action with the racket. But when they're serving and you know they want stability when they hit the ball when they're volleying when they're hitting their ground strokes so it makes sense to me they're big guys 16 ounces i could see it happening um but anyway i've recommended rackets in the 12s 12.6 12.8 to 70 80 year olds and they actually do better they hit the ball with more pop uh it's easier for them one last thing I forgot to mention. I like small head sizes. Okay, this is the smallest I can get off the shelf right now. So, you know, that has the weight to it. It's 97. I would prefer a little less than this if I could get it, like a 95 or even a 90. I, I would love it, but, you know, that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> okay, this, this Dunlop... I, I'm not quite sure what the square inch is, is on this, but I've heard it's around 60, 62, you know, so this is a small head size. And I like small head sizes. 
Why? You get more control, okay? Believe it or not, with the smaller head size, you get more control because the racket is, if you hit it a little bit off center, it doesn't torque as much with a big frame. You know, with a big frame, it's a big, you know, <laughs> huge uh, butterfly net. It's gonna torque more with that. The smaller the head size, you get less torque, you get more precision. Um, and remember too, whether the head size is a 125 or, you know, a 95, you still have to hit the ball in a small area here, the sweet spot to hit a really nice shot, to hit a good shot. But anyway, small head size, get as small as you can, 95. You know, if you need a little more power, then you get a little bit bigger head size. Bump it up to 97, 100 maybe, but I wouldn't go over 100. I don't think you need more than that. Well, on second thought, you could go to like a 107 maybe, a 107, um, that, that would work. But um, it's gonna give you a little more pop maybe, but it's so minimal, you know? I'd rather have the control. <laughs> Post any questions or comments below. Please subscribe to the channel. Give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and all the best guys to your tennis success. Take care.